C minus Manhattan just fine source for project. Yeah, go to wiki here and you find link to VM image. Let me repeat it again. You can use also bin search engine and find see my smart head on there. Go again to wiki page. You will see developer VM on Google Cloud. Click here. Now you can see options to download image file. Click on and start downloading. Okay. Sometime it take time. Okay, if you see here, CMS is downloading, but we don't have to wait a long time because it's almost 7 gigs. I will cancel this because I have an image on my local. Just download VM player or uh, Oracle VM box or VM Wireware box or maybe you have any VM player on your machine. Let's take Oracle VM VM box. Click on file, click option import and take your file you wish you download here same as Manhattan. Click OK. Next. Next you will see options to change something. Do not do this. Use default options. Click Import and import will take maybe uh, some time 20 minutes, some time less. But I will not import this because it takes time. I will cancel this because I have already on my machine this instance. Okay, we have a imported instance. Now we have to run this. Uh, very important things you have to do to check your network options. And go in network and select bridge adapter here in your wireless network adapter right here. Should be wireless network. Remember this exactly. Okay, other options options is the foul. Don't touch it, just very important this option, bridge and wireless. Okay, start this. Click on button start. This is a Linux VM, Linux loading, not too long time. Okay, let's load it. Ubuntu version 9.10, login is CMS, and password is, let me check this, login CMS, password is graphics. Okay. Graphics. Okay, what we'll see, you'll see AP address which was given by your router, Wi-Fi router, and you can compare uh, if this address, uh, address is compatible with your network on your laptop. Okay, let me check this. You can write comment on your laptop. If config or IP config, sorry.
Okay, now we'll see Wi-Fi network. Okay, and give an address in the same network. Then 005 and on VM we have a 10 -0011. It should be the same network. We can change, we can we can check it, we can ping and say 10 -0011. check. Okay. Ink is good, it means uh, your VM in the same network as your laptop on Wi-Fi network. Good. Next, uh, we have to go to a uh, web browser and write this address, VM, VM address 10 -0 -0 Click. Click Enter. OK. Now you will see CMS Manhattan, empty version without any images, just template which you have to modify to create your portal, internet shop. Uh, actually, uh, let's try to do something. Okay, just I enter a login. Yeah, login is admin. Password is VT79LG04. Use this to try this, how it works. Yeah, you can modify your, for example, uh, use line and other information. Just click save. <coughs> Yeah, do you see this was more defined and you see sections and categories you can navigate in your categories yeah you have a the yeah, modulus uh, you can uh, delete this model if you don't like this actually a forum message message was deleted go back you have a admin panel here to create news line and different modules information. And if this, if this, for example, uh, if this item for sale, you can say, okay, this is item for sale. If uh, it is not item, you have to, you don't have to write here price. And you can add something or modify something right here. But this would be in other um, lesson. Uh, let's um, go to uh, shell, Unix shell, uh, to check how we can modify the templates uh, easiest way. Uh, let's go to. Uh, Let's go to, um, for example, uh, PowerShell. Okay. Let me check if we have a SSH client. Okay, SSH client, whatever. Okay, let me check. Syntaxes for SSH, SSH client, SSH client, command, okay, check how it works, it's very simple, should be, okay, do, 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 do. Okay, is it Sage? Your actually your host. Uh, that's it. But you can also define your name like this. Okay, go to SSH. 
just modify this template. Everything is really simple. You can write CMS and CMS as username. Here you can write your VM AP address exactly the same which was given in your VM here. If you see 10.0.0.11 in the same one which you use uh, in your browser. Exactly the same. Okay, go. We'll see. Not, not sure if I click. Okay. Click yes. Password. Uh, fix. Okay. We see the same. We can um, work remote with this VM. And we see what we see. We see the same address which was given by your router. And now you can run your Unix command, something like this. But by the way, you can take a look uh, what we have in Docker here. Docker ps command. Okay. Probably I need different rights. Docker. Docker. Yes. No access denied. Okay, sudo. Okay. Yeah, please use command sudo because you need to read rights to check what's going on. Okay, what we see here, we see uh, MySQL is running right here. We see a load balancer is running right here. We see Tomcat, two instances to an application and also we see uh, Tomcat cluster. Uh, Tomcat is running on port 2306. Okay, what we can see something uh, to upload our design. You can click command M M C. This is uh, midnight commander application. You will see here an application which can guide you in file system. Okay, now we'll see here things like war directory and war. War is copy of uh, CMS Manhattan war file to Java application, no, but we have to go to wars. Wars is uh, have a deployed war files. What if you need deploy? You have to put your war file here, and a war file will automatically deploy. If you name this war file with the root name, you will see you will see uh, your that Manhattan uh, CMS Manhattan uh, right here by default URL. Okay, if you need um, additional context, you can deploy in different uh, folder like API, for example. Okay, now you should you should have a, um, a root rights to go inside. Let, let's let's change root rights. Yeah, how can you change root rights? You, could, you have to say you have to say sudo su. Okay, now you have a root rights and go again to the nine commander. Okay, we are here. Uh, you can go to your war, war, war folder and go inside. Now we have access to uh, to CMS files. Uh, in order to uh, change current design, you have to go to uh, XML folder and uh, to, to 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 this folder shops dot and here you see English folder. This is XLT templates. Uh, in order to change design, you have to modify these templates. Uh, basically, uh, how it work? You have to uh, you have to put here your files or overwrite maybe. This uh, files looks like uh, 
XLT template. It, it is actually XLT templates. Yeah. It's the XLT templates I take a source from XML and convert to HTML. This way it works. Yeah. Uh, in order to uh, copy something and overwrite, you can use any um, applications such as FileZilla, for example, file uh, Zilla, FileZilla can upload your changed templates, Excel templates to VM, or you can use uh, Midnight Commander or uh, Unix version far, far, far or everything or you could use any FTP client to upload those files in this directory uh, that's it after if you change something uh, let me show you if you change something for example product list this is main page main page and let me check uh, let me check uh, let me check please uh, uh, I modify some messages over here uh, for example title let me write this just one 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 and save it Go, go, go to, go to the browser. Uh, let me check which, which one modified here. Same. Okay, we are here, and we can check if we modify here. Title. This by, by default um, system will return XML file, uh, but XLT template which are located on website will transform this to uh, to HTML. Okay. 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 This is actually how it works, basically. Uh, please try this and give me feedback. Thank you.